Play good. So you. Good morning, very busy morning here in the singles. Uh, I've shed out all these two. We've got Jenna and Aiden over here. These two will be uh, eight and nine lambs that we've shed out this morning. You see there's another girl lambing over there. There's one that's just lambed here. So I lambed one that was breached just here, but her whole uterus has come out. So hopefully that'll, that'll stay in. Uh, and then there's the one lamb in here that we can't yeah, the mother just takes off. We can't actually, uh, we can't actually get it out. So, still a few more to go. I don't know how much uh, we'll persevere with those ones at the moment. Um, we'll go and check that girl that's lambing. But uh, yeah, we'll get these two out. It'll be nine. So it's good. No dead ones. Ideal. Got a full side beside today. There's uh, <laughs> 52 lambs in the first paddock here. There was 36 yesterday morning. So. Do the math. Uh, four to uh, four to sixteen. Yeah. So that's good. We're uh, well on our way here. There's probably some that I've missed too. But um, I think we're all good there. We'll go and uh, have a look in the second paddock. So what you think? So third pair, fourth paddock of twins. Uh, really stopped counting in here. There's too many. It's um, we're over halfway. Just had a quick tally. So the second paddock went from thirteen to twenty-four yesterday overnight the third paddock went from 34 to 44 so there yeah, lots of lambs lots of live lambs lots of sets of twins i think we picked up two two dead ones out of all of those that have been born so good result yeah beautiful day and it's meant to be warm the next couple of days too with a bit of northwest wind so it should be good we'll go and check the triplets and uh should be our lambing beak done for this morning so with everything going on, I've actually uh, started lambing in the second cycle ewes as well. Um, so yeah, today we're just going to set stock some of these girls that we're just leaving the ones in the paddocks that have lambed. So there's a set of a couple of sets of twins up here. We've got a whole bunch on the lane. We're just going to flick them off into the, uh, these new paddocks. Well, this new one on the left here that we did this fence in another video. Got Aiden just running around the bottom there. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll get them, we'll get them in, uh, yeah, they'll be lambing pretty pretty quick, these girls as well, so add to our uh, lambing beat job. So we've got 45 in here, there's 25 in there, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good here, uh, we'll go and, we've got some more to do uh, down the bottom, we've got three, three paddocks done. So last thing that today, we've got... Uh, and you here in the single shedding some more off. Three to go here, which is good. Getting him out of the gate. Come, mother. Come on, look, follow your mate. She knows where to go. Don't just stomp your foot at me, thank you. Come baby. Oh, and help this one this morning, that's why she's got a mark on her head. It was um, just a big lamb. So we did three before, two more at the gate, hopefully. Yeah. You get one like that every year. Good morning, Thursday morning. Heavy frost, well, decent frost this morning. Sun's out, should be a beautiful day. Just here in the single, shifted their brake, shed off. Maybe five, there's still another 
through four to go I think but yeah these ones that are left are getting pretty tricky <laughs> especially on your own so um, Jenna's at work kids are at school just me here today so I might even have to wait uh, wait and uh, get them to help me when when they get back we got one more getting one more out this girl's nearly born um, nice and bonded so it makes it easy when they get a bit older and the mums just want to bugger back to the, to the break of grass it becomes a bit tricky come on girl I talked you up and see how good you were come on you've seen your mates go out there Go on. Okay. Right hand down. Where you go. Here you go. Now you've seen the gate. This is a bugger of a paddock. It's um, coming from this way through to here. We did last year. Worked really well. This here doesn't. The fence doesn't come off the off the paddock square. So this is a big wide open corner, probably 130 degrees or so. So it's um, when and then as the ewes are walking under here, all they can see is fence. I can't see a big open paddock. It's just everything's set up wrong for shedding them out of this paddock into that one. Should have done that the other way. But, uh, live and learn. The Janet at the least block just shifted these uh, hill ewes, hill ewes that were wintering down here. So they've finished their crop, uh, they were on this grass paddock here, so they've finished that. They're into here, they'll spend a couple of days in here, and then they'll go over the road, do some other stuff. But yeah, we'll, we'll come down here and feed them some baleage. Maybe tomorrow, stretch this out a wee bit. Um, nice feeling be able to take them off crop and put them on some grass that's jumping away now. Yeah, after the snow and all the other dramas so that's good yep we'll stop by the pie shop have a coffee on the way home and then do our twin lambing beat that's not a great start to the day first uh first twin paddock first you looked at and she'd uh struggle with the first lamb the second lamb was dead that i pulled out so uh yeah hopefully she survives but uh we'll go and check the rest of them so there's 52 lambs in this paddock yesterday. There's um, at least 61 here now. Um, that's what I could count, but they, they're, they're pretty good at hiding now. They're all sunbathing away from their mums. So um, we're well over halfway, pretty, pretty well nearly done in this paddock, um, taking into account deaths and singles and bits and pieces. So yeah, um, uh, we're getting there, we're getting there, yep. So there was 24 in here yesterday, there's 39 in here now, and there's a U over here that's got a head sticking out, so she needs help. But we'll, uh, we'll put a red dot on her head as well, so she can get cold at, um, at any time if her lambs are alive and they survive. We'll have a go at this. Managed to catch her, chuck her glove on. You don't know until you pull the lamb out whether he's going to be alive or not. I've had them like this where they've actually been breathing, so... Just a head. No legs. We're going to have to find a foot. Aren't we, girl? Sorry, girl. This is not going to be pleasant for you. There's one foot. Bring that round slowly. Easy, girl. There you go. We can find the other one. <laughs> it's 
see if you can just do it with one. Big lamb, you alive? Come on, buddy. Take a breath. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, you're nearly there. Let's go. Take a breath. Breathe. Breathe, good boy. Good lamb. Come on, I know your tongue's sticking out. Good boy. You're a boy. You are a boy. Good boy. Second one's coming out pretty quick. It's all marked here. Come on, breathe. Don't give up now. Come on. Oh boy. Alright. Coming around. Coming around in front of mum. There you go, mum. Check your udder while we're here. Make sure it's all good. And the colostrum on that side. That side feels good. We'll just watch her. Keep an eye on her. See if she can birth that second one herself. I find it always better. If, uh, if you've got time, let them birth the second one. Um, and then we're here to help if we need to be. Look at that, she birthed her second one. All on her own, well done mum. Just needed help with the first one. So no new triplets in here. Um, just did a rough tally, roughly, and I reckon out of the 500 potential lambs in the first cycle early use, what we call the early use, um, there's about 304 that have been born at the moment. So, well on our way. Another, well, oh, let's just say another 150 if we take into account, you know, 50 odd deaths or something like that. So still a fair few to go, but um, yeah, well on our way and uh, beautiful day, sun shining, stunning. So, we've got a bit of a crossover now. So the, the second cycle ones have started lambing as well. Um, kind of noticed a few yesterday. So that's why we hurriedly went and set stopped the rest yesterday. Um, so we'll do a quick zip around them as well. Um, singles on the hill just here behind me. And then the twins, yeah, the one paddock over here, and then a couple up by the hill house. So um, yeah, she's all go. But uh, hopefully they'll, I don't know, <laughs> won't be as intensive. <laughs> and we won't have any snow to ruin our plans. So. So I had some lunch out here, uh, out the back with the ewe lambs. So this is where they were when the snow came through. Um, yeah, I haven't, haven't seen any dead ones, which is really, really good. So they all must have found enough shelter and amongst all the scrub. Uh, now I'm just mustering them out of this block. They've got to go up and over the top of that hill there and then, uh, and then into the next block. So. We'll see how we get on. I'm on school pickup today, uh, just because Jenna's working. So I've only got limited time out here. Um, but yeah, these girls move move pretty good. So as long as we can keep them heading in the right direction, we'll be all right. But this is a this is a good example of northerly facing faces out here. So this one that I'm standing on, and then of course the southerly one we're looking at with all the snow still left on it. So uh, it's good to have a mix good like uh, early country and then stuff that holds on a bit later too so um, we'll try and ideally in an ideal world you'd fence it up so each paddock had a um, each paddock was like either a northerly or a southerly face and you could graze them different times of the year stuff like that but it doesn't always work like that so noise boys <coughs> So mustering the next paddock here as well. Uh, I don't know if I'll get this one all done. But yeah, this is, this one's in desperate need of spraying. <laughs> the broom down the bottom and the gorse on this face are taken over. So we'll try and prioritize that, uh, even though it is a big cost. It's kind of cost we need to uh, need to bear if we're gonna keep uh, running sheep on here. Beautiful sunny face, this one. It's quite nice out of the wind. Oh, so those girls are into the next block. We're all good. And let the cows into here. 
finish off the hay that I put in here for these deals when it was snowing. <sighs> Not used to hills. Crikey. Righto ladies, gates open. You can come into here and eat the hay. Yeah? Right, time to go pick the kids up. Here in the afternoon, got Jenna helping me now. We've got through two, two new ones here, and then one girl that's about to give birth so she can go out as well. Uh, another new one over by the hay feeder over here. She just came back to check on a couple of ewes and the twins. So this is the one that I lambed. First guy had a fat head and then she lambed the second one on her own. So I think we're all good here. I'll leave them to it. Norwest wind's blind, so it's a lovely warm evening. So it'll be good. What do you got there, Mrs. Kiwi Farmer? Something you gave me. Oh, you're such a big softie. Yeah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> Another pet. Wow. Well, it was either that or we're going to pick it up tomorrow dead. So we'll take it home. We've got three to give away. Um, Not give away, trade. Trade, trade for colostrum, yeah, and other farming utensils. So it's good. Oh, well, come on, jump in, and we'll go and feed this wee one. So we'll leave this video here. Thanks for watching. Um, tune in next time for the next exciting episode of Kiwi Farmer. Norway Starch. Exciting. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Sort of. It's a little fluffy one. It is. It's, it's not very clean. No. Loads are moving, moving up there. Not all arches are clean. No. That's right. Keep the frost away tonight. Nice and warm. And hopefully the wind doesn't bring any damage. <laughs> See you guys later.